basically right now going to shade 45 do this uh lord seer ciphers you know what i mean hopefully everything will go good might be like to anybody else it might be like 15 20 minutes to them but to me it could, it could mean the world you know what i'm saying let's jaywalk real quick So we're gonna go straight and we're gonna bust a left on 6th half. Got my man News with me. Yo, yo. Got my man, my man Cassio in back of the camera. Thank you so much, bro. Kind of feel like I'm somebody right now. I'm nervous, a little nervous and shit. How you doing, my brother? How you doing, man? How's everything good? Hey, yeah, everything is good. Great to be here. Great right? Thank you so much Thank for having you. me. Come my brother. I need you to sign it. Yeah. yeah. Just in case something happens, you get shot up and I'm all right. Nah, nah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they can do. I'll fuck they want with your shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Word, word, word. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to get your name incorrect. Precise politics. Precise politics. So I did get it right. All right. Yeah, you did. And they did too. So I, I appreciate that. All right. Cool, cool. I, I'm, that's the first. That's the number one yeah. thing you always ask a guest. Yo. I don't want to mess up on your name. Craziest joint, I did a show, did a show in Tampa. My man said, yo, you don't know who this dude is? You under a rock, you know what I'm saying? This dude coming out, made a couple of albums I did. Give it up for my man Percy Politics. I was like, wow, 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 wow. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, he, he turned me to a slave out here, right? <laughs> it's like Percy Politics. That's crazy. He's rapping for Massa. Like, you bugging, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. Pretty Lou, I'm here, baby. Follow me on that Instagram at Pretty Lou 11. Also, make sure you follow at SiriusXM at Shade45. If you're not following, you know what I'm saying? This is the Lord Sears special as I'm filling in for my brother Lord Sears. So we have our first special guest. You know what I'm saying? She was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn in the building. All day. I'm telling you, Biggie Smalls just got, you know, yeah. for fame. Yeah. That, hey, that's, Saw that, that's right? love right there. Saw that. But now you resigned in North Carolina. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So let me introduce the artist. He's in the building right now, and he goes by Precise politics yes 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 what's going on world how you doing how you doing pretty little what's good man? what's cracking my brother how you doing hey, every, so you also good, go baby. by another alias called frankie needles frankie needles absolutely yes, so sir. i know we're going to talk about music yes but i'm i'm such a different interview person right that i try to go left field so i want to talk about these two personalities first because that's i was reading you know i was reading on you no doubt and i was listening to your music but i want to know what's the why two what, what, what's going on there? I mean, real talk, honestly, it's actually five, but these, these two. There's five, yeah, you got five yeah, personalities. Yeah, yeah, but these two are the most dominant. My, my thing is, I want to make sure people understand that mental health is real. You know okay. what I'm saying? And it's a, it's, a, it's a real thing that we brothers need to speak more about. Because, okay. you know, if you don't, 
it's gonna it's gonna mess you up on the inside. What do you mean by mental health? Because you know, there's a yeah, lot okay, of yeah, no doubt. A lot of people must be thinking that you must be like a doctor, or some mental health. What no, no. Fuck? What I'm saying is like, fuck you know, <laughs> you have a prescription for nah, that shit. Nah, nah. Pretty much, what's going on is you know, um, growing up in Brooklyn, you know, what I'm saying, um, uh, Flatbush region place, whatever. You know, I had good parents, but I got into There's a lot of situations. Uh, oh, definitely. <laughs> I had uh, got into a lot of situations that, you know, my parents couldn't really warn me about because they wasn't prepared for it. Right. So, you know, I've done a lot. I've seen a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you, when you're from the hood, you know, don't ask, don't tell, or you're going to catch a show. Okay. So pretty much I kept things, you know, internalized or whatever, but I always had my round book. So I would put all my stuff down on the round book, and then when certain things, you know, come across my come across me it's like i can't just be my regular self it's like another personality snaps to handle that frankie needles was the more aggressive side of right. me you know what i'm saying so it's like you know frankie can handle the beef frankie can handle the situations in the street where like if i'm on a train and somebody try to rob me from obama frankie needles is the one that's gonna step out and it's gonna knuckle up with dude you know what I'm saying? Precise is the one that's checking his hands to make sure, watching his hands, making sure he don't pull out nothing crazy. And Frankie Needles is the one that's going to go ahead with the go-ahead. You know what I'm saying? As long as everything's, you know what I mean? What made you What made you come up with that for something? Like, you know, what made you say, yo, I, I have so so different personalities? Like, I mean, um, just like, you know, just coming up from Brooklyn. Yeah, like, you know? and, and being diagnosed with PTSD. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's the thing about the mental health, being diagnosed with PTSD. And, you know, my generation, my parents, you know, we always talk to walk it off, you know, walk, you know, walk that shit off. You know right. what I'm saying? You ain't got to pay for therapy. That's mad money. Walk that off. Don't tell, don't, don't tell nobody what you're going through. That you know sounds, what I'm saying? That sounds like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get somebody pregnant. I'll be like, nah, nah, walk that shit off, man. <laughs> hey, yo, that's a different <laughs> take, take, kind of. <laughs> take that, take that, take that, what is that? That, yo, that, that, that pill. That, that pill, right? And walk that shit off. You well, know that, what I'm that's, saying? That's a different kind of health situation, <laughs> but, um. Yeah, man, the personalities came out of nowhere. My love of comic books came with that. I was always reading comic books, so the personalities came out of that. You know what I'm saying? Frankie Needles is the aggressive one. You know, Precise is the street dude, the street smart dude. Let's you know get into saying? your music. Mm -hmm. So your, your personality goes into your music as well. Like Absolutely. The, the different tracks, it's like who you are. Yeah. Maybe this one is Frankie Needles. Yeah. This one is Precise. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I got uh, two albums that illustrate that the best is an album I did with... Um, uh, drugs Beats or the Grammy nominated Drugs Beats called Drug Politics. Nice. And that was for Precise. That was Precise right there. What he's going through in the streets. You know, he, um, he was trying to get fast money, he got a kid on the way, so we turned to the streets and then life went to hell in a handbasket for him. You know what I'm saying? What made you move to North Carolina? Um, I went to college there, graduated, came back to New York, but then moms and pops got diagnosed with breast cancer, I mean, with cancer at the same time. So, you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, it's cool. God is good because they're both in remission at the same time now, too. Give that a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? You know. And um, I went out there to help them because cancer. Just to let you expensive. know, I'm fighting leukemia right now. Oh, word. You know what I'm saying? Shake your hand, brother. Of course. Shake your hand, brother. Word up. Of course. Definitely. And um, I went back to North Carolina to make sure that they was good to take care of them because you can't turn your back on the foundation. Right. And so then I just, you know, fell in love out there and realized the cost of living was little. You know what I'm saying? Bought okay. a house. And the rest is history. You know oh, nice. I mean? All right. What are you working on now? What, what, what's um, going on right now? Just just released the album, the Frankie Needles tape is, is what it's nicknamed, but okay. it's actually called Leave You Where I Find You. Just released that with my producer, um, Sharp Cuts. He's a part of our uh, Street Flavor Entertainment team, and back in North Carolina. Okay. And so we released that, and we're um, shooting the first video in like a couple of weeks. And we're going to put that out. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be flooding the streets with music, street flavor entertainment, just flooding the streets with music. I'm going to be pretty much putting out a lot of projects. You know nice. what I'm saying? Just to try to keep my name out there and do what I got to do. Who's showing you support right now? Who's playing you right now? Uh, North Carolina, absolutely. Um, Shade 45 is actually showing me support. Which I see, is really I see my brother DJ Premier. Yeah, DJ Premier. He actually. Do you know um, him personally? Nah, not, nah, not yet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Not yet. I'm speaking that into existence. Um, All right. Pretty much, you know, he played a couple of my joints. That was real love. DJ Eclipse, um, he played a couple of my joints. Um, you know, as far as, you know, location, Paris, Germany, um, See, Spain. See, like, listen, I don't want to fuck your name up. Yo. You got to uh, tell me exactly. <laughs> I, and I said it, and I had, we had it correct. We did. We had yeah. it correct in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want to come out there and say, all right, it's politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know politics <laughs> come, must come out, right? But, but politics, um, I heard uh, Percy. <laughs> I heard Persici. 
Perseech. Um, it's crazy when you're about to go on stage and they're getting you getting the crowd hype for that you. Must be, like, that must be terrible. Yeah, it's like, give it up for Perseech. Then I gotta I gotta play with it. Gotta get up there like, yo, what up, what up? First of all, it's precise politics. Get it right. I'm gonna make y'all get it right. And then they drop a beat and then you, we go. You, you know what's funny, right? A little story about me. I my name, right? I'm pretty Lou. Mm-hmm. But every, not not the same because they know how to say pretty Lou. Yeah. Is that sometimes when they spell my name, mm -hmm. they for some because since I'm Spanish, they always put pretty at L U. They don't give you the O. Like like if I just came out the boat, like <laughs> my do. brother, like it's L O U. Like why you put L U? Like Word. I be seeing flies where L. I'm like come they on. They just took man. the O off of it. Like he don't need that. Like I'm like I'm doing a Spanish club or something. You know it's that's pretty, crazy. Oh, I key it pretty Lou. You know nah. <laughs> Incredible. Let's talk about Sharp Cuts. Yeah, man. You signing them? That's their production people and all that? Um, Sharp Cuts is actually one dude. Um, one one dude in oh, North okay. Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Um, with my albums now, I stick to one producer. Okay. I feel like it's more cohesive that way, and it's easier to work with that one producer. Do you guys like, have, like, that chemistry? Yeah, absolutely. Um, every producer I work nice. with, we got chemistry because I lay out the whole foundation of the album and the story before I even start picking beats, and then they understand what we're doing. So then okay. they start making beats towards that. Like, I pitched him the story to leave you where I find you. And he was ecstatic. He was like, yo, we got to do this. We got to do this. He's part of the Street Flavor Entertainment team, too. He's, a, he's part of their production team. Oh, nice. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm the uh, MC for them. I'm one of the MCs for them. So Is there loyalty there? Like, would you ever work with any other producers? Um, Yeah, I mean, that's the business. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can still be loyal to your mans and still do business. If your mans is loyal to you, then they understand that business is business, and they won't try to box you in. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if I can get money with this dude, just like I can get money with you, then let's all get money together. And then we can come back together and get more money. You know? So, I mean, loyalty is loyalty. You got to make sure business is there, too. Yo, and if you saw what he just said, I like what he just said. Now I'm going to go to the promoters tonight and say the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers don't even know. Like, oh, yo, you're doing the party down the block. I'm like, listen. If I do that party down the block, then I bring the people to you, and then we make more than me. Right. And, like, you know? Like, let me let, me, let people see me, and, and still then follow you. me. Yeah. They follow me to your party, yeah. and then you got more people in there. Believe me, they'll still tell me, fuck you. You know how that <laughs> shit goes. Yo, Incredible. I mean, you know, some people do business different, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it is what it is. All right. Something about what, what, what's going on right now in the Like, something with Bones. What, what, what? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So, um, Street Flavor Entertainment is the team. And Crossbones is the game. Crossbones, yeah. yes. Crossbones is um, headed headed by uh, this artist named Juice Lord in uh, North Carolina. We also got uh, DJ Iron Mike from the Bronx. We got my man Jovi Moscone. Iron Mike, he sounds so familiar. He's from yeah, the Bronx? Yeah, all like right. all the way Bronx, like 100% Bronx. Like nice. He bleed it, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, my little sister, uh, None After Hours, you know what I'm saying? We got producers. Um, we got a lot of oh, people so you in guys there. are like a clan. Like yeah, you guys yeah. Are and it's funny because... You know, a lot of them, they're, they're mostly trap-based, but they came to me, and we had a mutual thing where I was like, yo, I want to be down. They was like, of course you're down. It's like, we wanted to ask you, but we didn't want to approach you because we didn't think you was approachable. Right. Like, we didn't think you needed anybody, which is cool. I understand that. Right. But, you know, they number, they NC's number one collective right now. Like, they're going everywhere. We just did a show at A3C, you know what I'm saying, when that was, you know what I mean? And that was fun. It was strange, but it was fun. And like I said, they mostly trap, but... When I jump on stage, I still do my boom bap. I'm still doing me, and people respect me for that because I could easily slide into the wave, quote unquote. Right. But I've, I still feel like I need to keep it Brooklyn, which is my roots. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like I do what I know how to do. I can do the trap stuff too, but I do what's in my heart. Who you listen to? Uh, right now, I still listen to Jada Kiss. Um, if I'm not listening to a lot of local stuff, because I like to listen to people on the come up. You know what I'm right. saying? Just like me. Um, you know what I mean? I'm listening to. Um, uh, my man Pusha T You know what I'm saying I like Pusha T a lot I'm listening to Still listen to the, the All of the locks um, Still listen to MF Doom Pulling up some Pharaoh Oh March. shoot Alright Like uh, I tell oh, people like wow. my, my top five is different From yours You know Super what I'm saying Super different And I'm a prodigy stan You know what I mean So I'm still pulling up prodigy Did anybody ever tell you Sound like somebody On a record Jay Z Jay, They tell you this I've heard like Jay Z I'm gonna keep it real um, I've heard There's a track Rockness Monster Ever, anybody ever tell you sound like Papoose? I've heard, I've heard um, Sky Zoo. I haven't heard Papoose yet. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll that's say crazy because Papoose <laughs> rhymes for like nine minutes and thirty seconds. No, he rhymes for thirty days <laughs> and two hours. That's why Lloyd Banks said got a clip spit longer than Papoose. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? What's in the future? 
more music, more precise, more music, politics, more music, more Shade Forty Five interviews, um, more shows. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely coming up, making sure that my name is out there the best way it can be. Uh, my man shooting a documentary for me right now. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the camera um, guy. Yeah, the camera guy doing his thing. You know um, what I'm saying? My man Cassio. My, that's my man Michael Cassio. He doing his thing. My, uh, my brother Bad News, he filming too. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just documentaries coming out. Try, I'm also an actor, so um, I'm about to be in a film that's uh, about to be shot in New York too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Round of applause for that, man. Yeah, son. Like, my man, my man Cassio's directing that too. You know what I'm saying? I can't let too much out the bag, but. Listen, you know. if you need a Mexican actor, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> With the beard though, beard gang. Yes, beard gang. Like, beard I can, I can, I can, I can, roll, I can put the, you know, the button down with the only button on top, man. I can do that. Right, right. I so, bring tacos and everything. Oh God, <laughs> you crazy, man. You know what but I'm saying? Script writing, voice acting, everything, man. Nice. Just, I'm trying to do everything. Last question. Mm -hmm. I always do. I always end my interviews with this. One word that would describe you. Hmm. Determined. Why? Well. Let's take let's take this situation right here. Um, I ain't even gonna front on you. Like you know, I'm I'm a new father. You know what I'm saying? Um, got a got a two year old. Congratulations. He still, he still got that new baby smell. Wow, you know what I'm saying? At certain times of the day. You like that baby smell? Love it, man. All right, shit. And, Not um, when they shit. I'm saying that, that that's the old baby smell. Then. But yeah, I mean determination because it's like you know. Right. I ain't gonna front like I had the bread for this, you know what I'm saying? But the label put up some money for it too to right. get me to get me down here, to get yeah. me up here. That's what's up. But I was like, yo, by any means necessary, no matter what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Um, whether it's whether it's on the side of the fence or that side of the fence, I'm gonna do it because I, I'm determined to get up here. I've always spoke the Shade 45 thing into existence. You know, I spoke to uh, everything else. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna do this. This is gonna happen. It's and just guess a question what? of when. And now you're sitting. At Shea 45. We're pretty Lou, man. Well, there you go. We're, pro We're pretty <laughs> Lou, man. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Gunshots so, on that one. Yeah, man. Determined, man. Determination, man. Gunshot. My brother, I want to thank you for coming, man. Give him a round of applause, hey, man. I want to thank give you for your, having me. Give him your social media. Give him all that stuff. Yeah, man. Um, So you can actually Google me, Precise Politics, P-R-E-C-Y-C-E-P-O-L-I-T-I-X. On the IG, it's uh, Sice Boogie. C Y C E B O O G I E on Twitter, even though I don't really handle that too much. It's um at precise P R E C Y C E. Same thing with Facebook, you know. So that's yeah. what's up. I want to thank you for coming to the studio, I man. I appreciate me. everything, and I want to go into this next track of yours. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end the interview right. No doubt, yo. Good looks. It's called Darts Over Smokey. Call me, talk to me about that one real quick. Darts Over Smokey, produced by Sharp Cuts. The entire Leave You Where I Find You album is produced by Sharp Cuts. This is with the first joint that he sent me when we started working on the album. And I wrote the song in like 15 minutes in my car because I was like, this is dope. I got to write to this right now. And Darts Over Smokey, man, jumped in the studio, laid it down. That's Everybody what's up. loved it. That's what's up. See, you write you write your things in the car. Mm -hmm. I write my shit when I'm in the toilet. <laughs> hey, yo, gunshot on that, right? Yo, I mean, that's sometimes that's where you get your best writing done when oh. you're by yourself. You know what? Do we have time? Can he do a nice little, like a little thirty seconds freestyle real quick? Give him something. You said thirty seconds. Blood. Oh, or, or what do you want? What do you want? You no, tell me. No, it's whatever. I mean, I no, give you some tell bars. me. I give me some give bars. bars. Okay. I need some bars. All right, we gonna do a give beat. Give me some bars. We gonna yeah. do a beat or what we gonna do? We gonna get you something right now, and then we'll get into that track. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I wanna hear some. I wanna hear something. Oh. Ooh. Man. Ooh. 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 I'm a hype man crazy. too, so I got you. That's crazy. All right, baby, Shay four five. Okay. Shorty, think about what you about to say Barrel to your dome, bow your head like you about to pray hey. Lord forgive us for the guns, we about to play For the money, love the shoddy, but it's all about the K Ooh. Bring it to these rappers early, we ain't about to lay Lawyer on retainer like your honor, he ain't about to stay nice. I'm not a gangster, I'm just well connected, there's a difference You get the same tight respect when you handle your business Ooh. Grown man talk, y'all little niggas might not feel it The long trench coat to help conceal it Extend the magazine, play the suitcase with the 
passport The trigger finger flex The fifth turned into black Let's thought go. I'm looking like a billion Dark night with the mask off My nigga I'm was popping in Gotham Metropolis is not an option You either work for me Or you get boxed in Ooh. And we not talking Arkham We talking deep six After one of mine spark em. Double down Double barrel shoddy Double park em, Like in front of Jimmy's Harlem Ooh. Shit daddy I'm just bringing back The game is missing A little touch of class With a little more precision nice. A little touch of genius With a little bit of vision A little touch of reality None of these rappers hey. Is living what they spitting I was selling burners Out the trunk Like they was mixtapes Bangers on another level Huh I can tell you that The softest niggas Cop the heaviest of metal Just to brag about Imaginary beef to Ooh. settle I'm feeling generous today So you can keep your bezel But if I'm having Shitty luck Then keep the glitter tucked uh. One man army Gang sign his middle fingers up Came a long way From freestyling On that city bus Mad rowdy in the back My nigga it was us Me you know my personalities And we was lit as fuck nice. Breast cancer Tried to eat My mother's titties up Prayed to God For his grace Now she on the up and up mm. So you can talk That tough shit Until you horse Guaranteed that I expose you niggas When it's time to giddy up It's politics What up Pastor the microphone Tried to violate Pretty Lou And catch two in your dome Hey yeah. <laughs> On the dome Check Word. it out, baby, from the dome. <laughs> I can't rap, baby, so I'm going to tell you what to do. Yeah, Shay 45 with Pretty Lou. Oh, oh. there you go. <laughs> there you go, my there brother. Go. Yo, hold up. Before we go, all right. All coming on. Yo, you know they call me Bruce Wayne, right? No doubt. They call me Bruce Wayne. They call me Batman for a reason. Word. That's what you're into? Yeah, I'm, D I'm DC for life, man. DC for like, life? Everybody's on the Marvel tip. Marvel's cool. I ain't going to disrespect them. But, yo, I mean, I got the S literally tatted on my chest. You know what I'm saying? I'm DC for life. Man. Nice. That's why I was like, we ain't talking Arkham. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I saw you, bro. All that. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> Good looks, man. Good That's looks. so dope. Round of applause one more time, my brother. Thank you for coming. Hey, I appreciate brother, thank everything. Thank you for having me. Now I want appreciate you to introduce you. this last track. Hey, yo, produced by Sharp Cuts off of the Leave You Where I Find You album, Out Now. Go cop that. It's called Darts Over Smokey, Precise Politics. There Peace. you go. Shade 4 or 5, the hype is real. Word. It was crazy. It's, it's always like a scary thing because I, you know, I didn't get to pick the beat like other people do when they go on, on um, interviews. They get to pick the beat. Yeah. So I just got a, I just got a, uh, people are hitting me up like crazy right now. My phone is buzzing crazy. Mm -hmm. And I just got, um, somebody i don't even know my man uh brian uh he just hit me and he was like yo i was listening i really dug your shade 45 interview just now i was pissed that pretty lou didn't open the phone lines up because i was really in tune and i wanted to give you props on shining light on mental health so that's crazy man it's like yo no matter what speak your truth man there's always somebody there and we need to shed light on that man we need to shed light yeah for real and we need to we need to go ahead and you know what I'm saying shed light on mental health, you know talk it out, go get some help. It's, it, it's not weak for you to go get some help. It's actually stronger than you think. So yo man, precise politics, Shay 45 interview, pretty loot that went bananas. So yeah man, let's get up out of here, boys. <laughs> Introduce myself, my name is Nick. I was talking to um, your manager or whatever, the, the DJs, DJs. Yeah. the DJ dude. So, um, so whenever y'all want to come up, y'all got music, just hit me. So okay. I, I pretty much run that shit. So I, I run the show, I manage Lord City. I whatever. bet, because I definitely want to come back up and do um, the, the cypher joint with Lord City. Yeah. Yeah. The most challenging shit, it's not just like memorizing your material and then doing it on the spot. What is it's that? memorizing your material and doing it on the spot while niggas is hyping your shit up while you rhyming. It seems like every punchline my man Pretty Lou caught, it blew him back and he kept saying shit. So I'm listening for that while I'm listening for the beat, while I'm listening to myself flow so I can keep track of my breathing. And that's like some of the most challenging shit ever, man. Like you can, you can do it because you can train your mind to do it. But if you like me and you catch butterflies, it's like, damn son, I gotta do this and I gotta do this right. Like I came all the way from North Carolina on a humble nigga. Like, it ain't, it ain't like I'm rolling in the dope. Like, came all the way from North Carolina to make sure that I could take advantage of this opportunity. I had one opportunity I could have went to in LA, but that was just too expensive and I didn't know how to finesse that. Like, I'm finessing this shit. But please believe, like, no matter what, if you can make it happen, make it happen. Even if you gotta feel like you might go a little broke or you might, you know, push the limit or push the envelope to something if you can do it go ahead and do it because this feeling right here i can't even describe it to you 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm high as fuck, but not illegally. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm telling you, it's bugged out, man. Like, I can't believe I, I can't believe we did it. You know what I'm saying? I say we. It was me up there, but I say we. You know what I'm saying? My man Cassio, my brother Bad News, everybody who was calling my phone, everybody who was well wishing me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who was pushing me to do this, we did it, man. Like, this right here was a triumph for all of us. So, but the one thing I took away from this, off the air, Pretty Lou was like, yo, I want to say thank you for doing the kind of rap you're doing. Yeah. He's like, you lyrical, and I respect yeah. that. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So, that to me right there, that means that what I'm doing still matters. Right. So I don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not everybody goes there. Right. So it's like, if you do what everybody else is doing, you might not get there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's the cool part. So I'm here, man. I'm here. I did that shit. Now I'm gonna goof off, goof off a little bit. Then I'm gonna take that trip back to NC for a minute. You know what I mean? But I'm coming back up here to get back on Shade 45. It's either gonna be in front of Lord Seer, or it's gonna be in front of Sway, or it's gonna be in front of M. It's gonna be in front of a whole lot of people. It's gonna be in front of whoever needs me. Whoever needs to be there, gonna be there because I need to be there. So what's gonna happen, man? For real, for real. Today we made history. You know what I mean? Mikey would love, Mikey would love this, man. Mikey. I'm gonna bring Mikey out here with me. <laughs>